Hello everyone, let us now discuss anatomy questions. So this was a question, uh, nerve supply to hypothenian muscle is from. So straightforward answer is ulnar nerve because we know that in the palm, all the muscles are supplied by ulnar nerve except few muscles which are supplied by major nerve. And those muscles are mainly on the thinner side that is abductor pollicis brevis, flexor pollicis brevis, and opponent's policies along with first and second lumbricals except for these five muscles whatever muscles are asked in the palm those will be uh, supplied by the ulnar nerve okay so only we can remember the muscles supplied by the median nerve rest all are supplied by ulnar nerve median nerve supplies here abductor pollicis brevis okay flexor pollicis brevis and also the opponent's policies along with that it will also supply lumbrical one and lumbrical two Next question, left ovarian vein drains into what? So left ovarian vein means the left gonadal vein, ovary, testis, these are the gonads. So whether the question is on the left gonadal vein or on the left suprarenal vein, these are the veins which will drain into left renal vein, that's why B will be the answer. Whereas their counterpart on the right side, right gonadal, right suprarenal, those will be draining directly into the IVC, okay? Next question, capacitation takes place mainly in, see all these given parts are, they belong to a female reproductive system and uh, these all part, they are, uh, you can say contribute in the capacitation, but mostly it will be contributed by the fallopian tube. So that's why that is the answer. And the time taken is around six to eight hours, but average we take it as seven hours. That is the time for the capacitation. Now in this case, uh, the patient is having like absent thymus and hypoparathyroidism and titani. So basically this case is of, uh, we can say desert syndrome, right? And in this syndrome, third pouch is not working. Third pharyngeal pouch from where thymus is made and some part of parathyroid is made. That is why A will be the answer. What is coming from the first pouch is the tubotympanic means auditory tube and tympanic cavity. That is middle ear. From the second part, here we have the tonsil coming from and from the third pouch, that is the thymus, okay. And this pouch, fourth pouch, that is from where we have the uh, ultimobranchial body coming from, ultimobranchial body. Ultimobranchial body will make the parafollicular C cells, okay. And they both will make parathyroid. This one will make inferior parathyroid and this one will make superior parathyroid like that. Now next question is arterial supply of cecum. That means cecal artery. We have two cecal artery, anterior cecal and posterior cecal artery. Both of them are branches of iliocolic artery. That's why that this will be the answer. Iliocolic artery will also give branch to appendix that is called as appendicular artery. But if they ask accessory appendicular artery, that will be a branch of posterior cecal artery. Next question, stratified squamous epithelium will be seen at all except, see stratification will be needed at the openings, okay. So skin is present outside, vagina uh, is an opening, esophagus in continuity with the oral cavity, it is also lined by the stratified squamous, but the gallbladder is a lined by simple columnar epithelium with the striated border, with the striated border that is the special feature over here, okay. Now most common type of cartilage covering the articular surface that is most common is the hyaline type but at certain joints it can be fibrous type also if at all it is fibrous type then it will be called as atypical type of joint then it will be called as atypical type of joint hyaline will be normally present that is typical type of joint. Fromet test is positive in relation of fromet sign is because of this you can say ulnar nerve we ask the patient to hold the book by doing the by using the adductors we will explain the patient how to use the adductors but suppose the patient's adductor is not working then the patient will anyway hold the book using the flexor instead this will make the ferment right so ferment test is positive in relation of ulnar nerve when the adductor policies is not working and the patient is using flexor instead now this question is basically the patient hand tremors when she has uh, she has intention to do something that means when she tries she attempts to put the thread in the eye of the needle that means when she has intention to do some motor activity then there is a tremor that is 
what is the lesion and that uh, and of course along with that the body is swaying even while walking means while with the eyes open hypotonia is there flexibility of the limb muscles okay so all these features are the characteristic features of the cerebellar syndrome we can definitely say answer here is c cerebellum the patient recovering from traumatic injury and now finds himself unable to chew the food also joe is deviated now in this case what is the motor deficit in the patient inability to chew the food inability to chew or mastication is the problem over here and the mastication is done by the muscles of mastication which are supplied by uh, the nerve that is mandibular nerve so the mandibular nerve here is involved that's why we can say foramen ovale will be the answer because the mandibular nerve passes from foramen ovale right now this is kind of a pet question because the your examiners are you see they have something for this terion so this terion is kind of a favorite area for the examiners which bones are there we have the frontal bone we have the parietal bone we have the temporal and the sphenoid bone this junction this h shaped junction is called as the terion deep to it lies the anterior division of middle meningeal artery deep to it lies the anterior division of middle meningeal artery which is a branch of maxillary artery and which is the most common cause of extra dural hemorrhage like that next The aortic hiatus is given over here. Aortic hiatus will allow aorta structure to pass through. Aorta, aorta T means thoracic duct, and this A is the ejigus vein. So aorta structure will pass. Sympathetic trunk will not pass. That's why C will be the answer over here, right? Next question: Structure piercing the clavipetral fascia are all except the structure piercing the clavipetral fascia can be remembered by the mnemonic. call that is c4 cephalic vein a4 acromiothoracic artery and l4 lateral pectoral nerve and this l4 lymphatic so basically we have these call structure which are going to pierce the clavipectoral fascia but basilic vein will be the answer that is not going to pierce anyway we know all of them they are of different category one is vein one is artery one is lymph one is the nerve so if you see in the exam like we have got two option as vein that obviously one of them should be the answer because no two similar structures are going to be as the clavipectoral fascia right next is this very very easy anatomical snuff box is an important area from where the questions are asked and what is the content here is the radial artery but they can also ask that if the nerve in the roof of snuff box is like a, a compress what will happen in that case like superficial branch of radial nerve if gone that means there will be a condition called as giralgia parasthetica positive tendinous sign of which group of muscle now if you take the right foot off of the ground right hip will drop this is called as positive sign but right sided hip is dropping this was the duty of left sided muscle to prevent the fall on the right side so this is the duty of gluteus maximus and gluteus minimus a will be the answer okay horseshoe kidney lies below the level of now horseshoe kidney what happens when the kidney's lower end gets fused okay while going above it becomes the lower end getting fused over here so it becomes horseshoe shape right they are trying to move up okay but the inferior mesenteric artery will block the ascent of this case right so thank you so much everyone okay so this is my insta and telegram uh, group detail Uh, if you want to revise with me or if you have any doubt please feel free to ask me anything okay thank you so much all the very best keep on studying hard keep on working hard god bless you all